Hello friends, my name is Bennett from GSM Promit. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you guys step-by-step -step guide on how to remove the passcode lock or iPhone unavailable with sim working for free using the Brokram Day software. Now big shout out to Dollar God from Ghana. He developed this software and made it for free. He made it out of love. So big shout out to Dollar God. All credits to him um, for making this software for free for us. Now before we dive into the video, consider subscribing and also hit the bell icon to um, get notified anytime we upload the content like this. The video is divided into four parts or well, let me use the word chambers so the video is divided into four equal chambers starting with the step one which says put the device into dfu mode and pawn with gaster so first of all we hold the power key and volume down together simultaneously keep holding the these two buttons until the screen goes blank and you release the power whilst holding the volume down to put the device into dfu mode and once you see the device is connected into dfu mode you release the, the volume down as well watch as you can see in the video that's what i'm doing so now the device is in dfu mode we are going to go ahead and open our files now i'll leave, I'll leave the link to these files in the description below you can download it for free and you this the files are um, um brokram disk and gasta file so the brokram disk you are going to use it to re remove the lock and then the gasta file is the file we use to pawn the device so you extract both files or you unzip them once you are done with that, you open the Gasta file first. Once the device is connected in DFU mode, and then launch the tool called Zadik. And then you click on options and click on list device list all devices. And then you choose the Apple mobile device. Once you are done with that, you can head over to this side and then change the driver to lib USB key. As you can see in the video. Once you are done with that, you click on replace driver. This will replace the driver to leap USB. After the driver is successfully installed, as, as you can see in the video, you head over to the device manager. And then you have to make sure that the, 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 the device is under leap USB. And then open the Gasta folder and type in this command Gasta. G E S T R G E S T E R Gasta dot exe space pawn P W N and hit enter. Once you hit enter, the device will be pawned automatically. Okay, so to know the device is being pawned, you have to see a message saying now you can boot on trusted images. Once you are done with that, you head over to the device manager again and uninstall the lib USB driver or uninstall that driver back to the Apple mobile USB driver. So watch carefully in the video. Okay, so the device, the driver is back to Apple mobile driver. So we move on to step two. Now the step two says backup data and erase the iPhone. Now we open the program this software and double click to launch it. Let's head over to the device manager again to confirm that the driver is under um, Apple mobile USB driver. It's not there. It's still under lib USB key. So let's head over and let's uninstall it again. Click right click and uninstall. scan for hardware changes now okay so now the, uh, the driver is okay is under is now apple mobile device usb driver so now we can go back and then proceed with the backup okay so back to the tool you click on check device okay the device is connected now you have to click on the copy ecid number and register registration link is on the tool so for the first time you see click here to register but i've already registered so there's no link there for for the first time you see a link there you just copy the ecid number and then register for free no payment once you're done with that you click on next or start sorry you click on start and then you are going to go ahead and download one last file called ramdix file now you see the link at the down left corner says click here to download ramdix so you double click on that link 
and then it will open the page where we can download the file. Now, depending on your iOS version, you have to choose the exact RAM this file. Now, I'm running iOS 15.7.5 on 7 Plus, so you open the iOS 15 folder and then you have to, on the two you have to go back on the two now you watch what i'm doing and then you watch the iphone type you see you watch the iphone type and then use the same um model or to download the file here so mine is iphone um iphone 9 2 d11 p d11 ep or something like that so you download the exact file for your device. I've already downloaded my RAM disk file, so I'm not going to download it again. Now, the most important part here is that after downloading the file, you have to open the broke RAM disk 2 folder and paste it there. Paste it in the RAM disk folder. So after the after the download, you open the RAM disk folder as you can see in the video and paste it there. You see where it says paste RAM disk file here. Once you're done with that, you click on start and then click on jailbreak. Now you are ready to jailbreak. Now the software will start to jailbreak your device. Now the device has successfully connected to SSH. So you click on OK and then click on Next. And then click on Backup. This will back up the activation files from your device. Okay, so the backup is completed as you can see in the video. So it will automatically open the direct the, the directory or the folder where the backup is saved. All you need to do now is to click on erase device and then you erase the phone. I'll fast forward this side to save time. After the erase is done, you put the device into DFU mode again and then move on or follow the step three which says put the device into DFU and pawn with Gasta. So once again, we are going to pawn with Gasta. We have already done this before. Open the folder, the Gasta folder, double click the Zadik tool to launch the tool. Click on options, list devices, and then you choose the phone, Apple mobile, and then change the driver to leap USB whilst the device is connected in DFU mode and then you click replace driver once the driver is installed uh, successfully you go back to the device manager to see if the driver is installed once you are done with that you open the gaster folder Type in this command gasta dot exe space pawn as you can see in the video and then you just hit enter this will pawn the device now to see that the device is successfully pawned 
you see a message saying you can now boot untrusted images then you head over to the device manager again and uninstall the, the driver that is the lib usb driver back to the apple mobile driver Once the driver is back to Apple mobile driver, we head over to step 4, that is the final step which says activate device and enjoy. So you launch the tool while the device, the device is in pawn mode and then you hit start and click on jailbreak. so now we can now activate the device so you click on next and click on activate this will start a bypass process again if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified anytime we upload a content like this this is an also um, online tech support platform where you can simply and effortlessly get solutions to your log devices so if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and also hit the bell icon Thank you. 